Adopt Me is adding some changes to the Pet Plus as they read players' comments on the update. One of these changes is that they will be adding hummingbirds, but unfortunately, they are Robux. So, do you want to learn how to get one? That is why in today's video, we'll be telling you guys how to get these new hummingbirds without using Robux. But please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow all of our socials. Now let's start! The Adopt Me team confirmed that there will be a new monthly legendary treat from the Pet Plus Game Pass, which is the Golden Flower, named the Golden Petunia. So you would need to have one of these to adopt a hummingbird. There will be three rarities, the regular hummingbird, the golden hummingbird, and the diamond hummingbird. Players are able to get this if they are subscribed to the monthly pet plus or through trading. So now that you are familiar with what's arriving, let's move on to the tips. My first tip is to make neon pets. So I will suggest that the neons you make are cute or you could say like preppy because I know that a lot of players like these kinds of pets. So these are some examples of neons you can make. I would not recommend to make a neon like a mouse or ant or like even a donkey because those are only like commons and uncommon pets. And I'm sure a lot of players have multiples of them in their inventories. So I would say to make a neon rare, like a zebra, for example, because I think players are most likely to accept those offers. With that being said, if you don't have a lot of money to get some eggs to hatch and get multiple pets of, or like even trade for multiples of a certain pet, I would still give it a try and make a neon common pet and try to treat it for the hummingbird that has the least rarity. My second tip is about trading as well. But don't worry, because it's actually about a cool challenge that we love to do. This is the popular common to legendary challenge in Adopt Me. So basically, you have to get a common pet. Let's say a mouse for example, and then trade that pet for an uncommon, like a donkey, a donkey for a snow puma, and then so on until you reach a legendary, preferably a legendary pet. I would suggest to try not get a Metalox or a Minion Chick because those pets are not really high in value and no one really likes to get them. So it would actually be very hard to trade it for the new hummingbird. So make sure to try to get other legendary pets. I know it can be a bit difficult to get other legendary pets besides those two, but I'm sure that you'll find a player that is kind enough to help you out. Also, if you get a low tire legendary, you can do this challenge two or three times and then when you get a fair offer for the hummingbird then you can go ahead and trade people that have it to see if they will accept your offer my third tip is to try and profit trade or basically kind of get overpays they don't have to be big overpays but if you even get a small overpay it will help you out a lot. So a quick example of this is that you're trading, let's say, a low tire legendary for nine pets. 
and like those pets you can try to trade like each individual one for a better pet like to upgrade for example if you get like a common mouse then treat it for an uncommon pet like bella was talking in tip number two so this depends on what the other player gives you but like either way you're going to be making more profit try getting cute pets as these are the ones players mostly like for example like a mouse or even zebras and like things like that my next tip is to build houses so you can have a tiny home and make like a preppy build we have a lot of nice and cute preppy builds in our youtube channel i know you all will love and we even have a playlist so you can go and check that out because a lot of preppy players they like to give neons and even some legendary pets for preppy grinding homes or other preppy homes as they don't have like a lot of time to play or they can't really build the pets that you get from this try to trade it for the new hummingbirds my last tip is optional as it includes having the use of money this is because I would suggest to buy that pet plus in-game. We are going to be making a video talking about its advantages and disadvantages. So stay tuned for that. And at the end, we are going to conclude if it's a good idea to buy the pet plus or not. So we're not going to get into a lot of detail in today's video about the pass. However, if you don't have like a lot of time to play the game and you have the money to monthly pay the pass and you are allowed, then this could be an option. If you can't do this, do not be discouraged because the other tips are as effective as this one. Coconut Squad, this is going to be the end for today's video. I hope all of you guys are able to get the new hummingbirds let us know if you guys have any other tips so the players are able to get this new bird and as always if you like today's video please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your family and friends we are on the road to 30k subscribers which is amazing but for now bye bye guys see you next time